Hey, welcome to Second Half Sports. This is David Kim next to Paulo Camacho. Another episode. Today's topic, Colin Kaepernick, Nike, and a bunch of people burning stuff that they already bought. <laughs> oh my god. It's a pretty good intro, right? It is. I mean, yeah. So, you know, we're actually recording this. It, t they announced it today, right? Or yesterday? Or yeah. Within, within the 24 hours of the announcement that Nike is coming out with their 30 an 30th anniversary of the Just Do It campaign. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, if you're watching this, you probably already have seen the fact that the face of the Just Do It campaign is the one, the only CK7. Surprise! Well, otherwise known as Colin Kaepernick. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, I'm sure everyone's seen it. It's a picture of him in black and white. Just his face. Uh, basically, I think it says something to the effect of, uh, oh, wait, I have, uh, I have people burning their stuff right here. No, never mind, it's not that. No, that's not, I, I know what you're talking about. Uh, let's, uh. There you go. It says, uh, believe in something even if it means sacrificing everything. And it's a picture of Colin Kaepernick. It says it across his face. Uh, and at the very bottom, uh, just do it, Nike. Now, let's... Before we even go into, like, what's happening, that's ingenious by Nike. Anyway, that's just what I think. But, uh, it's happening. Uh... I don't know, like, what we want to even talk about it at this point, because, like, it just came out. Me, personally, I mean, I've always been, like, it's no big deal, you know, like, so who knows what anyone, I mean, who knows, you guys out there, you know, either some of you don't like Ka Kaepernick, like Kaepernick, uh, think he's a garbage quarterback, so that's why, that's why he's, he's not getting any, uh, you know, contract offers. Some of you are harping on the uh, offer that the Broncos made him um, that he uh, rejected or whatever it was and that Elway took off the table. Uh, no one ever talks about that it was like, yeah, like a $9 million like, pay cut. No one's going to say yes to that. Um, anyway, but it has come to my attention uh, through the internet because the internet is undefeated. Um, that people are burning, uh, a la uh, the decision by LeBron James, uh, or I guess that was the only one where they really burned the jersey, or like let's say like uh, soccer matches and things like that, where or, or things where they, where they burn the opponent's jersey in, in the crowd and stuff. Burn an effigy. Uh, burn there you go. Burn an effigy. The, I, I've been I've learned that people are burning an effigy. Yeah. Uh, they're Nike apparel, and not not just. Not just that five dollar T-shirt, but they're burning like their their J's and their Nike Zooms. I see people <laughs> cutting out their Nike uh, um, logos yeah. out of their shorts. shorts. The compression shorts that cost like thirty dollars. Uh, the socks. Uh, they're cutting out the. I... So. I just, just 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 spit it out, Dave. Just spit it out. Oh my god! <laughs> like, what are you doing? Like, I understand the outright. I really do, actually. I'm, I'm, on, I'm on the side of Kaepernick. I, 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 whatever. But I get the outrage. You're really angry that Nike, in all their wisdom, put Colin Kaepernick at the face of uh, the campaign. Mm. You know what's funny, though? Everything I've read, like, to a man... Everyone's like, wow, it was awesome, it was bold. But you know what? It really wasn't that uh, daring, yeah. if you think about it. Controversial? It, it, well, it was controversial. Mm. But it wasn't necessarily really risque or daring because everyone's like, oh, I wonder how, how the stocks of Nike are going to do and their sales and Adidas and Reebok, here you go. Well, if you really think about it, First of all, if you're watching, watching this, you're probably not in the other demographic I'm going to talk about right now. 
most likely. Most likely. Uh, but <sighs> who buys Nikes? I'd, I'd say uh, people that want to be like athletes, uh, uh, more more the urban crowd. Can we just say minorities like <laughs> buying Nikes? I think we, that's we, we minorities. That's not a that, that's that, that's like not a Nikes. controversial statement to say. Like we urban do. youth, black kids, Asian kids, like whatever. They, anyway, they, my inner city kids my, too. My and I, and I lived I, I've lived in Bellflower. Uh, anyway. My point being, go ahead and boycott Nike if you want, those that are saying boycott Nike, but you've never once bought Nike before, and nor would you, would you have ever bought Nike anyway. So, like, you're not really affecting their bottom line. Uh, I would say that in the end, uh, it just looks end up looking tacky, because it's like, it's Nike's ad campaign. Who cares, right? See, this is okay. this has always been my take when it comes to the Kaepernick thing, and just in this socio-political climate. All right, I'm just I'm gonna go in on this. The All fact right, the go. fact of the matter I love, is, I love, when, I love when Paulo gets, gets gets riled up. It just it it drives me nuts the fact that and look, I have friends who who served in the military. I I have you know like. The good people that I know that, you know, are, are you know, red-blooded Americans and, and, you know, they don't, they don't deserve to be disrespected in any way, shape, or form for their service. I get that. The problem is what, when, when this, when this whole thing started with Kaepernick, the whole message was completely blown out of proportion. It didn't make sense for anyone to, 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 to basically say that Kaepernick is the enemy because he's kneeling to, uh, 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 during the national anthem. He's spitting on the flag because he's making a silent protest. Do it somewhere else. Or, you know, uh, have respect for your country. Have respect for your veterans. Guess what, morons? That's exactly what he was doing. God... I can't tell you how many times I've seen people in comment sections, in, in, in all these different sports articles oh, saying, Oh no, he, Colin Kaepernick is the worst because he's disrespecting the veterans. He was doing the opposite by kneeling. Don't you understand that it was a Green Beret who told him, he's, he told him to kneel because that's what, that's what, that's what veterans do at, at, in, in military funerals to, 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 to honor their fallen brethren. For, I, it just, how that got lost in all of this media garbage is beyond me. It, and it, it, got, it, it got lost because uh, in the kind of... Uh, I won't say it was like on the throes of like you know, dwindling away, but like it was in the public consciousness, but it was kind of being worked on on both sides secretly, and, and then it got political because the the government you know decided to bring apart uh, you know their opinion on it. The 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 what what do you want to call it? The conservatives, the uh, you know the far right. You know, you know, hold on, I'll, I'll say. It. It's when forty five tweeted about it that it became a thing. Yeah. Because once he once he tweeted it, then it was it was like the NFL owners, a bunch of billionaires who don't want to you know have to pay them that much taxes. They were afraid of the the backlash. And you can call that collusion if you want, because it, it is. At the same time, like everyone's right now stuck stuck in a place where they're like, how did we get here? And what's going to happen, and it's already happening, is that the NFL won't lose an ounce of popularity because it's the NFL. Yeah. And there's fantasy football, and it's once a week, and Monday Night Football, and parties, and Super Bowl, and everything like that. So it's, you know, popularity is fine. What really is at stake is 
they're, they're gonna miss out in a whole wave of the youth of America either watching or playing the sport in the near future because they're just fed up with it. It's not gonna be me. I mean, as much as I would love to be like all principled and be like, never watching football again. I would love to do that. But, uh, can't. I like watching football. Yeah, me too. I mean, the, the fact of the matter is, if, if you're, I guess, principled enough to stop watching football for one reason or another, then maybe you just weren't a football fan and you weren't the, like, the, you weren't the demographic that football was going after anyway. I could be wrong. You could be in that perfect like, demographic. Perfect demographic. That 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 very small minority that were diehard football fans until all this political stuff started happening. And then you were just like, nope, I'm done. So I'm getting out of here because I don't want to do with this anymore. And I mean, no matter what side you fall on on this issue, good for you, I guess. But I don't know. I guess for me, I'm not gonna stop watching. I don't think you're you're I, not gonna stop watching. No, I mean I, I work at a place that, that shows the games all the time, so like if anything, I get paid to watch it. So like I'm not gonna stop watching. But um, I I I, I just I, I just want to say this last thing because yeah, I'll just say one last thing too. Go ahead. Um, uh, th this this whole thing with Nike. Um, I mean I I I commend them for you know, at least putting Kaepernick out there as a representative for Nike. Like, I, I think it's, it, no matter, again, no matter where you come down on this, it's kind, it's, it's kind of brave for them to, to take this guy who was looked at as a pariah for the last two, three years and put him at the forefront of your ad campaign. And at the end of the day, no matter what publicity they get, people are still going to buy Nikes. Yeah. And, 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 and the fact is, if you buy Nikes to burn them in protest, congratulations, you still work with their bottom line. So... I thought you were going to say congratulations, you're stupid. <laughs> you are. Um, well, I, you know, I wasn't going to that. My... I mean... I mean, yeah, I, but... My, my final thoughts on this for for today is like it's really twofold it's once again reiterate you know Colin Kaepernick uh, was doing all that to bring awareness to the police brutality that happens not all cops are bad but bad ones just stand out yeah let's not let's not forget it's that like, message because it's, it's it like, was because of police brutality yeah. and the and, and the, uh, uh, the police and, and violence so, on, you know, disproportionate to minorities. And, you know, and there's that. But, just because Nike did this, we should also never forget that Nike, as a multi-billion dollar company, in the end, doesn't really care about what Colin Kaepernick believes in, per se. Because they've had him on the roster since, like, 2011. They haven't done anything with him for two or three years because they just didn't know what to do. I'm pretty sure that they sought, a PR, sought out a PR firm, read the landscape of, of, the wor of the world and the United States and the social economical landscape out there with the sneaker buyers and the fan base of the NFL and what Colin Kaepernick may or may not represent to their bottom dollar. So, like, I, I'm not... I don't have delusions of grandeur to think that all of a sudden Phil Knight and Nike woke up one day and they're like St. Paul, St. Peter, and like, oh, oh we know... You know. They're still the same company that has, you know, child labor laws breaking across, across the world and slave labor wages over in Asia... And whatnot. That we're not forgetting about that either. Yeah, let's let's not fool ourselves into thinking that Nike is a bastion of goodwill and altruism. Exactly, exactly. But the bottom line, once again, is if you're gonna think about that and but this, then you know you're ignoring once again the main points. But I brought it up originally to Paulo because I thought. More than all the stuff we just said, 
it must be real nice for you guys out there that have a problem with Colin Kaepernick and Nike and all this and burning sh and burning shit. I mean, like, it must be real nice to have so much disposable income at the palm of your hands that you can buy a pair of Air Force Ones or Nike Zooms or, you know, burn out or, or cut up your $30 work pants because you're angry that a company that doesn't care about you did something that you're mad about. For reasons that you have no idea about. That, I mean, that doesn't even matter. I mean, just that first part is like, if you, if you think about what I just said, and that pertains to you, you realize that you've lost every ability to call anybody on the internet any kind of name resembling a snowflake. Because you ruined something of yours because you were upset at the company that you bought it from because they did something you didn't agree with. After you paid for it. After you paid for it. You see what I'm saying? Anyway, like I said, if you're following this show, especially since we talk about wrestling a lot of time, I doubt we're even talking about you. Or anybody you know. We might be. I mean, maybe. Maybe we're talking about all of you. There's only like four of y'all there. <laughs> I mean, like, who knows? But anyway, that's what I think. You got anything else to add to that? Not really. I just, right. just kind of want to just know what the audience out there yeah. thinks about this issue. So, you know, let us know what you think in the comments below. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Are you one of those people that say that, oh, yeah. I stand on, in front of the couch, in front of the TV, hands over the heart, and do the national anthem every time they show it on TV. I take my hat off. I don't eat. I go to the bathroom. I don't, like, blink or yawn or, like, anything because I respect the national anthem that bad. Let us know. I mean, I really want, I mean, I really want to know because if you are, I want to see video of that. I will, we will put it on air if you really do that. But you, have to show, you have to just send it every week. And then on week 14, we will montage it together for you standing up and doing the National Anthem. See, I'm not... And honestly, I would be totally impressed if you did that. Yeah, because I, none of this week one or two, there's a bunch of trolls out there that can do that. But if, but if week 14, show and we, me. And we want to see, we want to make sure that you're watching <laughs> every, all the games that you can yeah. every week. You can't just, you know, film yourself doing one week's worth of games and pretend that was through a whole season. Exactly. We can tell. You can't BS a BSer, as, as they said in that one movie with Jane Lynch. I forget which one it was. But, uh, yeah. That's it. Comment below. Like, subscribe, share. And uh, until next time, we actually talk real football. Or actual football. Yeah, it was real football. Yeah, it was real football. All right. Take it easy, guys.